So when I started at Harvard, I was actually biomedical engineering. And then I took a circuits course. And that transformed my whole idea of what I could do. I fell in love with circuits in the nerdiest way possible. And so I ended up switching to EE. I've loved it. It's been really cool to learn about how electronics work and how I can make them do things I want. For my senior thesis project, I'm working on building a personal wearable device that uses low power wide area networks to communicate over a GPS signal. So basically, the relevance of this is building a safety device that's energy efficient, so hopefully lasts for months, even years, and wide area, so it can send signals for kilometers, so if you're in the middle of a wood, you can still get found. And my hope is that by allowing people to make safety something that's easily um, incorporated into their lifestyle, that they can go about doing the things that they want with one less obstacle in the way. May Harvard has been the most meaningful experience I've had here. I've absolutely loved building this organization with our team. So it started actually that summer of my sophomore year. And we wanted to make a makeathon because we feel like there's this kind of aura around engineering projects that you know you really got to know what you're doing in order to start. But in reality, the more you build, I think the better you get at it. And we just wanted to create a space where students could feel like they could create anything they want, whether it's just like some scrappy project that's like totally funny or some project that's just like the first iteration of something they want to see. We have students in design and fashion and environmental um, studies come together and start thinking, how can we design better air filters? How can we design better shoes? And use our labs as the building block to start on the way to achieving those goals. You know, tech has this reputation for being like really hard and like only a certain type of person can do it. But if you're committed to learning, anyone can do it. And once you realize that, I think it unlocks a lot of doors in terms of people believing in themselves. Long term, I'm really interested in how we can use technology as a way to uh, digitally empower others.